Hi there. Welcome back to Two Minutes with the VA. We have a question from Joe. Joe's back. Joe says, should a VA be an LLC? If yes, why? And he also wants to know what the tax advantages are of doing so. Joe, I'm not a tax attorney. I'm also not a CPA or an EA or anything like that. Um, so I can't really advise you on that. Um, I will tell you that my particular business, because of my particular circumstances, and um, you know, it's it's based on so many different things. It's based on income. It's based on health insurance. It's based on daycare. I mean, it's based on retirement benefits. It's based on all these different moving pieces. It depends on how many employees you have, or if it's just you, um, as to what it's best tax-wise for you to do. I am an LLC that is taxed as a C corp. And that is done for tax reasons that I understand for the most part, but that's what the attorney and the CPA said to do, so that's what we did. Um, if you are getting to the point that you think you want to think about, you know, opening an LLC, I highly, highly encourage you, don't just go out there and do it. Go um, find yourself someone, even if it's, you know, a CPA, a tax attorney, someone to sit down and talk to and say, what type of entity is going to be best for me? Um, there's this whole thing about the LLC being, uh, you know, limiting your liability and things like that. And it does do some of that, but it doesn't do everything that, that people think it does. So before you, you know, just jump into that, you need to talk, to talk about someone. If you do decide to be an LLC, you'll be able to fill out, I don't know what the form is. I'll post a link to it, um, your tax status or whatever with the IRS and um, you'll be able to choose whether or not you want to be an S-Corp or a C-Corp. I believe it defaults to S-Corp, but I'm not 100% sure. Again, the person who helps you file your LLC paperwork can help you with that. Um, but I do, no matter how much you read, no matter how much advice you get from anyone, you should always talk to your, your tax attorney. If you have good insurance, the LLC for liability reasons really, eh, you know. Um, and a lot of people, it's advantageous to stay a sole proprietor. So, you know, you never know. So don't just jump in. Go get some good advice. You know, pay that CPA. That's why, that's why he went to college, and I didn't for CPA stuff, I guess. All right. Uh, see you next time, Joe.